Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game and going into the map and changing the map, you can see that there's this new place called Auction World. Heading into this map, you can see that you can auction off cars and other people can bid on them. And with this, you can end up making more money than just selling your car alone. And what's also cool about this is you can make more money than the car is actually worth. And the way this works, we'll start off with just buying a random car. And the way to make this easier is by painting it a different color than the rest of them. So if you have a multiple of the same car, you can color one of them that you want to sell. So I changed it to this darker green. And now you click on sell car in the top of the screen and you'll want to select the car. And when selecting it, it'll show the color of the car. So if you click the wrong one, you can know by seeing it like this. And the lowest price of the car is 7350 And as you can see, selling it is 7350 which is 30% of the value of the entire car. And this is the lowest that it'll let you go on the auction board. So you can't sell cars for free or cheaper than what they're actually able to be sold for. So no matter what, you're going to be ending up selling your car for more than the sell price. And once you have the car here, you can put in any specific value that you want or you can up it by... 2500 or lower it or you can change the increase value so when other people have to bid they have to do a bigger number and then all you'll need to do is auction off the car at the price that you want and then if someone bids for it then you'll get the money at the end of the auction and the same way the sell price works if you upgrade your car at all the price will go up and people could buy your car for more than the starting price of the car like i showed which is 7350 and with this new area, they actually made a whole entire new map that you can teleport to. So there's a racetrack over here, I'm pretty sure. And there's a whole bunch of roads you can go around. Here is the racetrack right here. So you're able to test out your new cars here and I don't think that you can test out other cars that are being auctioned. And it seems like most of the assets in this game are just taken from the Japan map and it ends right over here. And if we head onto the map, this is what it looks like on the map and there's just another road over here and there's no there's no races and there's no jobs. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else here that's really worth doing like doing quests here there's not really anything to smash so you won't be getting smash score here there's nowhere to really jump there's no speed traps i don't think and no jump traps so you can't do any of those quests here and here are the two areas you can see there's the auction house which takes you back to the auction house and the other one is the race which teleports you right over to here It'd be cool in the future if they allowed you to test out cars that were about to be auctioned so you could see if they're fast and if you want to buy them. And I think this would make it to where more people would be buying cars, which would be pretty cool. And if I'm selling a car and I want it to be 100 million and I try and put this bid up, it actually locks it at double the amount that it's worth. So this one's worth around $22,500 or something like that. And it maxes it out at... 54,000 so you're not gonna be able to go above that number that the car is worth and the way this works so i'll go and place a bid you can put the the amount you want and then you place the bid and then it'll show how much you bid and the countdown will start and i really want this micro bus but i know someone's gonna steal it from me because they have way more money than me to spend one thing that i hope they change with this is making it to where you can click on the up next and it'll show every single car after that that's being sold soon because with these servers, I'm pretty sure that these cars could just go on forever. Like, there's so many cars that are being sold, and there's a huge lineup of cars that have to be sold before yours makes it. So, when someone bids up a car, and you can place a bid on it, so I'll place a bid here, and it's that expensive, which is half a million. And then once the timer goes down, you can see that it shows that I won the microbus for 449000 and it gives them the money, but it takes around 10%, I think and now i'll sell it back and show what it looks like when i do that and here it is the starting price is 447,000, and i can't go lower than that because all of the upgrades on it and stuff so let's auction it off and as you can see once you've put up a car you're not able to bid on your own car and since there's no one else in here she's going to be getting it back 
And this is what it looks like once you've sold one and you can see that my money went up. And there's the exact amount. It said around 400,000 when I sold it for 440. 7,000 or something like that. And the last thing I want to show if you go and choose a car to sell and you auction it off and it doesn't get picked, I'll show you what that looks like. And this is what it looks like. It's basically the exact same. And then if you head into the garage, you can see that the car is still here. And with this update, we obviously have new weekly quests, starting off with the new car, which is a Contender HT. And the Tiger 1 is back again, so if you want this, you can get it again. And all the other quests are basically the same, except we have two new Shadow Racers, which I'll do these after I show the five parts. For the first part, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And right behind this building, you'll see the very first part. For the second part, head over to this food delivery spot right in front of the pyramid. And right under this little bridge here, you'll see the second part. For the third part, head over to this race right here, the icy drag strip. And the part is right here under this sign. For the next part, you'll want to head over to this race right here, Mountain Descent. And right on this ramp, you'll see the part. And for the last part, out in the desert, head over to this place right here, the desert. And right below it, right here is the part. And it seems like this race here is actually from this update, but they didn't say anything about it. So I guess this is a new race and I'll show you what that looks like right now. And there it is. There's like nothing on this race. I don't know. I, I don't even know if it was added this update, but it's a pretty basic race. And with that, let's do these two shadow racers. Once you complete all the quests, you'll be given this car, which is a Contender HT, and it has a stock horsepower of 1,011. And here are the customizations on it. It seems like once you change this livery, if you equip this right here, you won't be able to get these stripes back. So I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you really don't want them. But once they're gone, you're not able to get them back. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. And I'll see you in the next video.